Nocturnal Animals is directed by fashion designer Tom Ford and stars Jake Gyllenhaal, Amy Adams, Michael Shannon and Aaron Taylor-Johnson. And it, it's, a, it's a film that has um, three separate storylines, in a way. There's um, Amy Adams, who's in the present, reading a novel, which she then visualises the novel, and it shows the novel, and the main character is played by Jake Gyllenhaal. But then it shows flashbacks of how Amy Adams met her ex-husband, who is also played by Jake Gyllenhaal. So that might sound a bit confusing, but it's, it's a unique film. Um, basically, Amy Adams receives a, a draft of her ex-husband's new novel called Nocturnal Animals. So she starts, she hasn't heard from her husband in 19 years and they broke up. It, it shows this in flashbacks. It shows how they met in flashbacks and her husband's played by Jake Gyllenhaal. It shows how they met in flashbacks, um, how they got together and how, why they broke up. Basically, you know, something to do with his novel. He's not, he wasn't that good as a novelist. Oop, pardon me. He wasn't that good as a novelist. Um, and she was, she had higher aspirations and she was getting involved with uh, Amy Amma's character who's in the film. And so she hasn't seen him for 19 years and then all of a sudden he sends a, a draft of his new novel. Nocturnal Animals, and then she starts reading the novel. And as she's reading it, you, you're visualising the story of a novel. And the main guy in the novel is also played by um, Jake Gyllenhaal. And things happen in the novel, which, you know, which in, it involves his family. And um, that brings into it Aaron Taylor Johnson's character. Um, and then it brings into... Um, Michael Shannon's Lawman, and it's quite interesting because um, mo a lot, most of the film is from, in fact, all of the film is from Amy Adams' perspective. You know, she's the main character in the present. The flashbacks are from her perspective. Um, the visualization of a novel is from her perspective. It's how she's um, visualizing it. Um, and yeah, it's just a it's a unique film of way the way it's presented, and then all all the um, strands, the present, past, and novel world, all sort of mingle together, and it kind of makes sense at the end. Um, especially when you find out why they broke up in the past, Amy Adams and Jake and all. Um, but yeah, the the performances, um, Amy Adams is good as always. I like her. Jake Gyllenhaal is, is really good in this. Um, I liked his, especially his um, performance of the novel character. That was really good. Um, but the, the, the best two actors in this, um, I'll start with Aaron Taylor Johnson. Um, every time he was on screen, oh, he was creepy as hell. It was, um, you know, you didn't want to be near him. You didn't want to see him. It was creepy. It was meant to be like that. So that's just like high praise for his performance. He, you know... Every time I was there, he made me skin, uh, my skin crawl. You know, it was like it was an horrible, disgusting character, and you know, brilliant for Anna Taylor Johnson because that I'm sure I'm, that's what he was aiming for, and he achieved that. But um, again, the, you know, the best character in, in the, the best actor, you know, by far is Michael Shannon. He's just fantastic in this movie. You know, I loved him earlier on in the year in Midnight Special. He was fantastic in that. And, you know, it's fantastic in this. This is, you know, it's just, it's a sort of performance, you know, a man seeking revenge. And, you know, it's, it's playing a world weary um, lawman who's seen it all and seen too many um, bad men escape. And, um, yeah, it's just, um, it's really good. I can't go too deep into the plot, into spoiler territory, because it's one of those films that you have to watch and really watch and take in because things you know it's hard to understand that if you you know if you don't watch it it will be hard to understand um but yeah you know really great direction you know uh, tom ford is 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 more known for his like his fashion and his um his cologne and all that but he has done a film before he has died i think this is his second feature he has 
his debut film was called A Single Man with Colin Firth, and that was Oscar nominated. And this film is brilliantly directed. It's like, you know, he's a fantastic director, so I am actually looking forward to more Tom Ford films. Um, yeah, some of the camera work, the cinematography is fantastic. The score is um, very, very good, you know. The opening credits is um, very weird, but, uh, you know, they fit the film. It's it's rather strange, but they fit. Um, but, yeah, all in all, I absolutely love this film. I thought it was fantastic. It's a film you certainly have to pay attention to. Um, it's like one of those, like, it kind of reminded me of a cross between, like, a Nicholas R Winding Ren film. Yeah, like, o Only For God Forgives, Neon Demon. Um... Yeah, you know, I, I, I really enjoyed this film. I, I can't praise it enough. Um, one of my favourites of the year. I will re-watch this film, you know, for the great acting performances and everything. Um, so the rating I'm going to give this film is A+. Um, let me know in the comments down below, guys, what you thought of Nocturnal Animals. Did you see it? Did you like it? Um, what do you think of Tom Ford as a director? Um... Like and share my channel, guys. And remember, stay heroic.